Leo Lagerbier. Hi, and welcome to a beer review where I am actually testing my new shotgun microphone. And for that, I'll be reviewing the Leo Lager Beer. Hey, SG Alcohol Guy here, making use of my Wines and Spirits certification to give you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. Now, I've received a question before, which is, why does my certificate in Wines and Spirits Appreciation uh, qualify me to, you know, give reviews on beers? Well, the simple answer is that part of the course was also understanding beers. I'm guessing it's just less sexy to put the word beer on an actual certificate, so they left it as Wines and Spirits. And with that cleared up, today we are going to review the Leo Lager Beer, which is actually from the Singa Corporation. So to correct my earlier statement, this is actually brewed and canned by the Patum Thani Brewery in Thailand under the supervision of Singa Corporation. So it's not from Singa Beer, it's from Patum Thani Brewery. And it's Leo because, well, it's a picture of a leopard. A bit of a cross-eyed leopard, but a leopard nonetheless. And I previously tried the Singa beer and I genuinely loved it for something so simple. Of course, it did come in very big bottles, so I enjoyed it even more. But for such a, you know, a, a straightforward lager, it tasted fantastic. So here's hoping that the Leo can follow a sister beer. Now, I've got this and this was an amazing price as well. I've got six cans of this at $9.90 Singapore dollars. So under $10 for six cans. And that roughly works out to about $1.70 per can, which is amazing value here in Singapore. Now I'm trying to pour it um, you know, as slowly as I can so that I have less foam um, and more flavor. But immediately as I'm pouring it, I can tell you right now, the color is really, really a very light yellow, a very golden yellow if I may. And it's extremely clear. Uh, I can see the nice bubbles fizzing upwards. All in all, it's just making me want to drink it really, really quickly. But scent first. So it doesn't have a very spectacular nose or a very spectacular scent. It smells like, you know, the run-of-the-mill lager beers that, that we can experience. But let's see how the taste is. So this Leo Lager Beer has actually won some gold medal awards for world quality in various Munich beer competitions. And I cannot understand why. It's a very plain lager. There's nothing exceptionally fragrant even in my mouth. There's a bitter hoppy taste uh, on the tip of my tongue. Uh, there's nothing sweet or fragrant going onto my throat. There's just that alcohol smell coming down the back of my throat. It's not really anything spectacular. So for 170 Singapore dollars per can, and bear in mind, I forgot to mention this earlier, this is a 320 ml can with 5% alcohol content. So at this price point, I would say that it is an excellent beer if you're hosting a home party and you want something cheap and affordable where you can buy it in bulk, plus the group of people that you will be entertaining are people you don't really like. Uh, and, and on top of that, they don't really understand the taste of alcohol. Then yes, if you find that those are the criteria you need to fulfill, the Leo Lager Beer is the one for that party. Otherwise, avoid it at all costs, even at a price of 170 Singapore dollars per can. Hey there, thanks for watching up to this point. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, do help me click on the like button. Of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And more importantly, drop me some comments. Let me know if you've tried the Leo Lager Beer that is brewed under the supervision of Singa Corporation. Let me know what you feel about this beer. Happy drinking!